We are now in the last content of our topic, which is the Chinese prose. The famous prose during this time titled The Dream of the Red Chamber. The Dream of the Red Chamber is a Chinese novel written by Cao Zan in the 18th century that is generally considered to be the greatest of all Chinese novels and among the greatest in world literature. Let us know the author first. Cao Suichin. Cao Suichin, also known Cao Zan, was a great writer in the Qing dynasty. His personal name was Zan, and his style name is Mingruan. His representative work, A Dream of a Red Chamber, was written in the latter half of the 18th century, which is not only a great Chinese novel but also a gem of world literature. The world is named as one of the great four works together with the romance of the three kingdoms pilgrim to withstand outlaws of the marsh. Now let us state some elements of the novel. The theme of this novel is a blend of realism and romance, psychological motivation and faith, daily life and supernatural occurrences. The genre the name of the main family looks similar to the author's surname and has the same pronunciation in Mandarin as another Chinese character, which means fake or sham. Thus, Cao Suichin suggests that the novel's family is both a reflection of his own family and simultaneously a fictional or a dream version of his family. The language used on this novel is written in vernacular Chinese and not classical Chinese. It is one of the works which establish the legitimacy of the vernacular idiom. Its author was well versed in classical Chinese, writing some cracks in erudite semi wenyan and in Chinese poetry. The textual problems the history of the manuscript of Dream of the Red Chamber is extremely complex and has been the subject of much critical scrutiny and conjecture by modern scholars. Cao did not live to publish his novel, and only hand-copied manuscripts existed after his death until 1791. When the first printed version was published, this version, known as the Chenggao edition contains edits and revisions not authorized by the author. The characters of this novel contains nearly 30 characters which could be considered major and hundreds of minor ones. Cao centered the novel on Jia Baoyu, the male protagonist and the female relations around him. In this novel, females take the central role and are frequently shown to be more capable than their male counterparts. They are also well-educated, unlike most chain maidens of their time. The cultural significance of this novel, in 1989, it was made into a serial feature film directed by Z. Taylor and produced by the Beijing Film Studio. The project required two years of preparation and three years of filming. The film runs for 13 hours, consists of eight episodes in six parts, following the narrative pattern of the book. About 150 of the book's 900 characters appear in the film.